Number 43. Visit this PHET density simulation, which is this website right here, and select mystery blocks. And then they want us to do A, B, and C. So first things first, I'm just going to list A, B, and put C over here. Okay. So first thing that you have to do is go to this website right here. And what you're going to see is you're going to see this very nice simulation that's on the right hand side but we have to select mystery blocks to get the right application. So go up to the right hand corner. It's right. It's now it's on custom. So you got to go all the way down. It's the fifth one down and you click mystery. So that's what I'm going to do. Boop. And voila. All right. So we got five blocks, A, B, C, D, and E. And I guess with these, you got to figure out the mass density and the volume. Okay. So letter A, Pick one of the mystery blocks and determine its mass, volume, density, and its likely identity. Now, this likely identity is going to come from this lovely chart of densities of common substances. But in order to do that, we have to first find out its density. So let's pick uh, anyone. I'll pick my favorite color. My favorite color is red. So I'm going to move the purple one, and I'm going to move... Um, the green one, and I'm going to work with this nice red one, block D. We just got to find the mass, volume, and density. Okay, so now in order to find the mass of this, they don't tell us what it is, so I got to put, put it on the scale, which is on the uh, left-hand corner. Now let's try to slam it down because that's just more fun. Let's see if I make it. Three, two, one. There we go. Let's just place it on the middle. And it says that this mass, so I'm going to write red block, the mass is 3.10 kilograms. Cool. I'm going to take that one off. So that's the answer for the first part. So the mass of the red block was 3.10 kilograms. Now we have to find the volume. Once again, we don't have a meter stick or a ruler, so we can't do length times width times height, but we can do volume by displacement. Quickly, I'm just going to put it over here. If you want to do volume by displacement of any object, it's always final VF, final vol volume, minus initial volume. And the initial volume is the volume that is in the container before you add your blocks. In this case, if you look on the right-hand side, the volume of water in this container is 100 liters. So your VI will always be 100 for this example. It will change once you put the blocks in because the water level will rise because of the displacement of the object. So now I'm going to throw the red guy in and see what the final volume is. And it looks like, ah, uh, did you see that? If I squish this all the way down, it was 1.103.38, but then it gets a little less. Which volume are we going to take? In order to find the full volume of any object, it has to be submerged. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to push it down, and I'm going to take that number. So the volume, the final volume, would be 103.38. So I'm going to put that here. Volume of the object, OBJ, would be equal to 103.38. What was it, 103.38 when it was completely submerged? Liters minus 100 liters. So the volume of the red object is 3.38 liters. So I'll highlight that again in green. That's the volume. So that gets rid of these checks, mass and volume. Now we just got to find the density. Remember that formula, density equals mass divided by volume. It does not matter what units for mass and what units for volume are. So in this case, I'm just going to plug in my kilograms and my liters. So D, density, equals mass divided by volume. So it would be the mass that we have up top here, 3.10 kilograms, divided by 3.38 liters. And if we do that on the calci, 3.1 divided by 3.38, you get 0 0.917. So 0 0.917, 
And the units don't cancel out because kilograms is obviously different from liters, so it would just be kilograms per liter. And I will highlight that. That's your density for the red block. So we have this now. Now we just have to identify. So I'm going to put over here that we chose the red block. What is its identity? Well, that's when we will compare the identity that we found it out to be and compare it with the densities of the common substances. Now, it's a block, obviously, so I'm going to get rid of a liquid because it can't be a liquid, it's literally a block, and I'm going to get rid of the gases column because it's a block, and blocks are solids. So let's see. This one, 0 0.917, is very, very close to 0 0.92. Now, you're probably saying, wait, 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 Christina, what? Look at your units. Kilogram per liter, but these are all in grams per centimeters cubed. Now, I'm going to give you a little tidbit. Just know that kilogram per liter is the same thing as gram per centimeter cubed, which is technically the same thing as gram per milliliter. All three of these are exactly the same unit, given the conversions, which we'll get into later. Don't worry about how to convert now. We didn't do any questions about that yet, but I'll see you. I'll see you for those questions. So this would technically be the same thing as saying 0 0.917 grams per centimeters cubed, and now the units look identical. So this, the red block, its identity could be ice. That would be my answer for what the identity is. So that answers all parts of A. Let's move on to B. Pick a different mystery block and determine its mass, volume, density, and its likely identity. So same thing here. I'm going to pick now, let's see, get, the, get rid of this red. I'm going to pick my favorite starburst color. Well, obviously there's only one other color, right? Yellow. I'm that person. I am that person that likes the yellow starburst. <laughs> so first things first, we got to find out the mass of the yellow block. So I'm just going to put over here, yellow block. And how do we find a mass? Well, we just got to put it on the balance. So here we go. Slam it down. Did I make it? Wow, that was perfect. And that one weighs a ton, 65.14 kilograms. Okay. So that's the mass. That part's done. Now we got to find the volume. So the volume of the object would be by displacement, equal to final minus initial. So remember, for this, the initial is always 100, so 100.00 liters. Let's just find out what the final is. Let's slam this in, boom, and there you go, 103.38. So it's the same volume as the other object, 3.38 liters. So let's now find the density. Go back to that formula, D equals M over V. So the mass is 65.14 kilograms divided by 3.38 liters. So density equals 65.14 divided by 3.38. You get... 10.4. Sorry about that. I put 35.14, not 65. 65.14 divided by 3.38. You get 19.3. So 19.3 kilogram per liter, but remember, it's the same unit as grams per centimeter cubed, so it's technically 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed. And that's the answer to the second part. So we got this volume as this, and this density as this. And now we just have to give the likely identity. Well, it's still a block, so I'm going to still look in the solids category. Let's see, 19.3, oh, all the way down here. This is super dense. So this identity of the yellow block is probably gold. So there you go with that one. So that's the end of all these, mass, volume, density. 
likely identity. So these two are done. Now we just have to order the mystery blocks from least dense to most dense. So I'll put that where C is here. We want least dense, least D, all the way to most D. So we can do that little trick by seeing which ones float and which ones sink. The ones that float will always be less dense than the ones that sink. So I'll put that up here. Sink, um, we'll say float, will always be less dense than the ones that sink. So I'll say less dense, less D, more D. D stands for density. So let's throw all these guys in. Woo, wee. Get in there. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's see which ones are more dense or which one is less dense. So here we go. Hmm. It looks like there could be a toss-up between B and C. So we're going to have to quickly find those densities out. But then comes A. So let's get rid of these and let's just see what the density for the green and the blue one are. Let's do them quick. So we'll start with the blue. I'll put the blue one up here. So weigh it. The mass is 0 0.64. So mass is 0 0.64 kilograms. Throw it into the pool. We're going to do volume by displacement. Now you got to submerge it all the way down. So it's 101.00 liters. So the volume by displacement, so the volume of the object would be 101 minus 100. So it would be 1.00 liters. And then the density is mass divided by volume, 0 0.64 kilograms divided by 1. So this would be 0 0.64 kg per liter density. Okay, now that one is for the blue. That was quick. I'll just put blue up top here and I will highlight it in blue. Okay, now let's find out what the green one is. So I'll say green really quick. Same type of idea. Weigh it. 4.08. So your M, your mass is 4.08 kilograms, dump it in, and remember, you got to push it all the way down to get the full volume. So 105.83. So the volume of the object would be final minus initial, 105.83 minus 100. So that would be 5.83 liters. Density is mass over volume, so 4.08 divided by 5.83 D equals 4.08 divided by 5.83, 0 0.700. So I'll just say 0 0.700 kilogram per liter, and I will highlight that in green. Okay, so now let's see. Between the blue one and the green one, which one is less dense? The blue one was 0.64, and the green one was 0.7. So that's, so the blue one is the least dense out of all of them. So blue comes first, which is less dense than, remember, these were the ones that basically kind of floated, right? The three that floated were these. So if blue came first, then comes green, then comes red. You see, the more that you sink, the higher the density is. So that gets rid of these three. Now, actually I'll put them over to the side. Now we just have to figure out whether purple is more dense or yellow is more dense. They both sink. Now we know from before that the volume, I'm sorry, we know from before that the density for the yellow block was a huge number, 19.3. So that was for yellow. So now I'm just gonna put over here purple we're just going to find out the density for the purple and compare it. So first things first, you got to weigh it. So I'm going to throw this on. So we got an M mass of 3.53 kilograms. And let's see, the volume 
would be final is whatever it is when it goes in. So 101.00 liters. So 101 minus 100, because that was initial, was 1 liter. And the density, you, got, you try this out, guys, right? Density would be mass divided by liter. Anything divided by 1 is the same number. So this would be 3.53 kilogram per liter. So now we just got to compare these two densities. The density of the yellow object is way more than the density of the purple object. 19.3 compared to 3.53. So purple has to come next. And then finally comes yellow. And I think that is the answer to C. Yeah, order the mystery blocks from least dense to most dense. And then they say explain. So you could say that the less dense float and float more towards the surface, the more dense will sink to the bottom, but all it had to do was you just had to compare the densities. So you had to actually calculate the densities, find them, and then put them in order. So from least dense to most dense was blue block, to green, to red, to purple, then finally to yellow. Guys, I hope this helped. This was fun. Um, go check out the simulation so that you guys get to see it in real time. And... If it did help, click that subscribe button. We got tons more answers coming your way. I'll see you all in the next question. Have an awesome day, guys. See you later.